Hi, welcome to another Rebecca the Petrolhead car review. Here we have a Mini Cooper F. Under the bonnet we have a 1600 straight 4 16 valve engine. It's transversely mounted and with its supercharger it's pushing out almost 170 brake horsepower. It has sharp styling, gorgeous looking alloy wheels and because of that supercharger the battery has to go in the boot. Therefore there's no room for a spare so the tyres are run flat. It's a good looking car, privacy glass, in fact it's a fun looking car. You can see why BMW's advertising campaign all centred around a mini adventure. Just before we take it for a test drive, I'd like to show you the inside. Half leather interior, leather bound steering wheel, side airbags, driver airbag, passenger airbag, you can tell it was made by BMW. It's very good quality. To start your mini adventure, you're going to get there quite quickly because it does 0 to 60 in 7.4 seconds. And with the six speed box, it's going to be a fun drive because of those closer ratio gears. Fuel economy apparently is average 33 miles to the gallon. Although, if you're going to be using those gears and having some fun in the car, I think that figure is unrealistic. And what BMW have done is they've put the four wheels as far apart as possible, which improves the handling. Now, I don't know what the progressive spring rating is on the car, but you do feel every lump and bump on the road. It's not the smoothest car to drive, but having said that, when you're going around corners, you really do appreciate the suspension setup. These cars have come under a little bit of criticism because they're so much bigger than the original Mini that they were apparently styled on. But what you've got to remember is that to get through safety tests these days, there needs to be umpteen odd airbags and crumple zones, and it's largely to do with the safety equipment fitted that makes the car so much bigger than the original. Pedal is all electronic. It's not a cable and a mechanical bar like cars used to. 